Hi everyone. In this lecture, I will introduce the notion of rate of change, which is strongly connected to derivative. The average rate of change, or shortly rate of change, of a function f of x with respect to x over the closed interval x1, x2 is given by delta y over delta x. I think you are familiar with delta y over delta x. It is the slope of second line, if you remember. f of x2 minus delta y means f of x2 minus f of x1 delta x is the difference between two points of x, x2 minus x1. So instead of f of x, if you remember uh, the previous lecture, if you remember the previous one, instead of f of x2, we may write f of x1 plus h minus f of x1 divided by h. And h, of course, cannot be zero. Geometrically, the average rate of change or shortly rate of change of f over the closed interval x1, x2 is the slope of the second line. We have a simple example. Suppose that an object is dropped from a building, then the distance it has fallen after t seconds is given by 4 t square. Find its average speed or average rate of change over the closed interval 1 5 okay and the second one closed interval a a plus h we will simply use this formula average rate of change for this closed interval is d5 over d5 minus d1 divided by 5 minus 1 which is 24 and for the second one, the a plus h minus dA divided by a plus h minus a, which is the parenthesis of 4, we have 2a plus h. And it is the definition of rate of change. What about instantaneous rate of change? The instantaneous rate of change of a function f with respect to variable x at the point a is actually derivative of that function at the given point A. So, you may remember this formula. It, this formula gives the slope of tangent line. It is also derivative of corresponding function at the specified given point. So, instantaneous rate of change at a point is equal to the slope of the tangent line at the same point. Suppose that, suppose that the amount of water in a holding tank at t, at the time t, minimum given by this function. Determine each of the following. The first one is the volume of water in the tank increasing or decreasing at the time 1. We firstly take the first derivative and check the function at check, check uh, the derivative of the function at the point v since it is negative so the volume the volume is decreasing the second one is the volume of water in the tank ever not changing if so when it is changing actually the volume is not changing if it has a uh, instantaneous rate of change if it's in instantaneous rate of change is zero so it means v prime is zero when v prime is zero we take we simply take derivative of v this is 40 minus 18 is equal to zero it means at the time four the volume is not changing of course it has many other applications like velocity and other physical uh, subjects but we will not go further. 